good morning students uh, today i will uh, show you the different relations on the anterior surface and posterior surface of the right kidney and left kidney in the previous video i have shown you how to hold the kidney in anatomical position and what are the different surfaces and borders and poles and including the hilum today i will show you the different relations before that i am going to just once again repeating the anatomical position of the kidney this is the anatomical position of right kidney the upper pole or lower pole anterior surface posterior surface which is flat then medial border and lateral border and similarly the left kidney here this is the upper pole lower pole convex anterior surface flat posterior surface medial border upper part convex lower part convex in between these two convex part of the medial border in between this indentation is called the hilum of the kidney and this is convex lateral border i will show you today the relations on the anterior surface and relations on the posterior surface let us look at the board suppose this is right kidney and this is left kidney this is anterior surface of right kidney anterior surface of left kidney then what are the important viscerals lying in front of the right kidney and left kidney let us see one by one on the right kidney on the anterior surface towards the upper pole here is one visceral impression that impression for the right suprarenal gland and here close to the medial border here another impression for the duodenum so this is suprarenal s then duodenum d and here is another impression the larger area it is for the liver called hepatic impression and this lower fold area it is divided into two parts medial part and lateral part here is the coils of jejunum and and this part this is the impression for the colon right colic flexor so there are five important viscera in relation to the anterior surface of the right kidney of this five important viscera this this hepatic and jejunal these two are peritoneal coverings and suprarenal duodenum and right colic flexor these three are non peritoneal and these two peritoneum of the greater side let us see the relations of the left kidney obviously the anterior surface and here also you will get the impression of suprarenal gland on the left side so left suprarenal gland here on the left side in place of uh, hepatic impression here you will get spilling impression which is close to the lateral border this is the splenic impression and medially here you will get gastric impression or stomach next part here you will get another viscera that is pancreas so pancreatic impression and below that this area again like that of the right side this is again this is the left colic flexor or colic impression and medially this is jejunal impression and on the left side there are six viscera and on the right side there are, there are five viscera of the six viscera three are peritoneal and the peritoneal viscera are number 1 that is gastric number 2 is jejunal and number 3 is the splenic and the remaining three suprarenal pancreas and the left colic flexor these three are non peritoneal and these three are peritoneal of the greater sac and another way to remember all these relations i am giving you a mnemonics for that for the right kidney the mnemonics is Simon hepatic das joins college the s stands for right suprarenal gland so suprarenal and hepatic means this hepatic the same name and third one is the das das means 
it is a duodenum and fourth one it is the joints this j j means jejunum jejunal impression and last one c means colic or right colic flexor that is colic impression so this five for the right side and another way uh, to remember particularly for the bengali knowing students and that is shokhi hele dule jao kotha here you see the shokhi means s for suprarenal hele means hepatic and dule means d for duodenal and jao j for jejunal and kotha c for colic you can remember in this way particularly for the bengali knowing students now i am showing the relations on the left side and the mnemonics for the left side is again simon like that of the right side but here well hepatic das and here is a gastric sin plans to this two is silent join college more or less similar to that of the right side and with little difference is there this remain for left suprarenal gland then gastric means stomach gastric impression sin stands for spleen splenic impression plans p for pancreatic and joints j stands for jejunal and lastly c college stands for colic or left colic flexor so these six are the relations on the anterior surface and this is a mnemonic for the left side and similarly uh, on the left side also there is one bengali mnemonic and this is only for the bengali knowing students who can understand who can speak bengali here sokhi is telling to sokha sokha gaye पाए जल कैन हेयर दिस ए स्टैंड फॉर लेफ्ट सुपर लैंड दिस सोखा ए स्टैंड फॉर स्प्रिनिक दिस जी गाय फॉर गैस्ट्रिक पाए पी फॉर पैंक्रेटिक जल जे फॉर जेजुनल एंड कैनो सी फॉर left colic flexor so this is the bengali mnemonic so of these two mnemonics you can remember any one of these two but you must remember the impressions on the anterior surface and of right kidney and left kidney it is a theory question and sometime it is asked also in the viva hose also uh, next i will discuss the relation on the posterior surface